Hello you guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be exploring more of the Firefly, Season 1, Episode 8. Now we don't get a lot of comments, so make sure you guys comment if you're interested. Of course, YouTube might show me a little bit more love, but for the Patreon, smash that button, you guys. At least. <laughs> At least, so I won't be talking to myself. Okay, so Episode 8. Let's explore it. Let's check it off the list. And yeah, so far, it's been going low-key. I'm really ready, 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 ready for the drama. And I really cannot say that because all the episodes have drama. But I want something exclusive. Like, you know, where is this? Where is this leading to? That being said, let's get more lit. Oh my gosh, episode eight, let's explore. All the chairs on the floor. She'll be with you for the rest of your life. You pay money for this, sir? On purpose? Whoa. Come on, seriously, Zoe, what do you think? She is solid. Ship like this, be with you to the day you die. Because it's a death trap. That's not. Bessie passed what she is and onto what she can be. We what's have to make it at home. Freedom is what? I meant, what's that? Small crew. They must feel the need to be free, take jobs mm -hmm. as they come. They never have to be under the heel of nobody ever again. But you will. I already know what I'm going to call her. Got a name all picked up. <laughs> Brother had the heart to say anything. He was so proud. <laughs> what? The humor, I miss out on all the fun. <laughs> and all the food, too, apparently. Just navigating. She might not cook, but she'll save you some food. <laughs> Without running afoul of any Alliance patrols, or a single living soul, for that matter. Good. It's your turn. My turn. Well, Shepard told us a funny story about being a preacher. Now you tell us a funny story about being a doctor. This um, this fellow, this uh, you know, upright sort of citizen, he, he comes in and he's you know complaining of. Uh, and there, uh, she's got to have some funny horn story. So you just cut him uh, off. I have no idea, and you never will. <laughs> so <laughs> right. Science. Oh come on, there. Oh, <laughs> you thought we forgot. Happy how did how did you know, River? Day is a vestigial mode of time measurement based on solar cycles. I hope you like it. Couldn't get a hold of no flowers, so it's mostly protein. Ew. In fact, it's <laughs> pretty much what we just have for dinner. We got the lights. What the hell was that? Maybe just a hiccup. I'll go check it out. Fire. I'll take a look at the helm. Fire! Could it be okay? Zoe's been badly hurt. I need my medical supplies. Everything's sealed up tight. If you don't let me through, she could die. I need you up in the engine room figuring out what caused this. Yeah, she pushed you out the way. She ain't moving. Serenity's not moving. Come on, baby. Well, you're strong. Strongest person I ever met. You could do this. Is she gonna make it? Please, I need to work. It's bad, okay, sir? My wife may be dying here, so my feelings, it's pretty damn bad. Mm. Wash. I'm not leaving her side, Mal. Don't ask me again. You're gonna get to that bridge, and you're gonna get us back on our feet. I mean, if my husband's about to die, I'm not moving. You can go try to drive the shit yourself. <laughs> if nobody's attacking, yeah, you're gonna have to wait a minute. Now, if somebody's attacking, then yeah, let's do it. But as far as we know, nobody's attacking, and that's that's kind of selfish. Might do, might do. I think I'm starting to get a feel here. Good. Well, take your time, make yourself at home. Just uh, feel around with the dials there, we'll be nearby. And we need us a pilot. I understand, sir. He bothers me. Look, we finally got ourselves a genius mechanic. It's about time we hired someone to fly this damn thing. Maybe someone should get her husband out here. No. What do you need, Doc? That drawer, right there. No, I'm not watching it. You're right. <laughs> well, it's worse than just the coil. How can it be worse? Main life support's down on account of the engine being dead. Right, but we got auxiliary life support. No, we don't. I don't know. A couple of hours. 
hours. Maybe we'll start to feel it, and then we won't feel nothing at all. She won't know it, but as long as her condition remains like this, she'll outlive us all. She's using less oxygen. Going to run out of air. That will die gasping. But we won't. That's not oh. going to happen. We'll freeze to death first. It's possible someone might pick up that signal. No, now. It's not possible. No one's going to pick up the damn signal. You wanted us flying under the radar, remember? Well, that's where we are. And if you can't do it from here, then get a suit on and go outside on the side and of the boat. And what? Wave my arms around? Because teenage pranks are fun when you're about to die. Give the beacon a boost, wouldn't it? Yes. They'd be forced to stop and dig out our signal What's before they could even go anyplace. Well, maybe I should do that then. I'm fighting at a time like this. You do realize we've been parked on this rock a week longer than we planned? Yeah. But uh, there's, there's stuff to do. As, for example, that job we got waiting for us on Paquin. Six engines. They make her hot. <coughs> Fester, <coughs> get your prairie harpy off my boat and put us back in the air. Grab boots just fine. Oh, that's... Hello. Never mind. He had a few of them. <laughs> that's not what it is. Nope. I seen the trouble plain as day when I was down there on my bath before. When I was down there on my back. <laughs> Don't serve much of a purpose anyway. Just tends to gum up the works when it gets tacked. She fixed it. Yeah, no, it really broke. Where'd you learn how to do that, miss? <laughs> Just do it, that's all. You got much experience with a vessel like this? I've never even been up in one before. Wanna? <laughs> I just gotta ask my folks. Look, we came for pleasure. Don't leave without me. We're leaving for the money. Sometimes a thing gets broke, can't be fixed. Without this, engine don't turn. Engine don't turn, life support won't function. Keep breathing, don't you? Really? Focusing on what we don't got, time to talk about what it is we do. And what we got are two shuttles. Short range, won't go far. But each got heat and they each got air. Jane will ride with Anara in her shuttle. Doc, you and your sis will ride with Wash and Zoe, seeing as how Zoe still needs some doctoring. By some chance, get a response, someone's gonna have to be here to answer. But like you said, someone might answer the beacon. And when they do, I want to make sure that you can call everyone back. It won't take but a minute. I smart. Don't push too hard. Shuttle life support will last you a good long while. Mel, this isn't the ancient sea. You don't have to go down with your ship. She ain't going down. She ain't going anywhere. Jane will be worth something if you run into trouble. But don't trust him, and don't let him take over. <laughs> She's space-worthy, just like the rest of Serenity is. No need to sound so defensive, Captain. I prefer something with a few miles on it. Under no circumstances will I be servicing you or anyone who is under your employ. <coughs> I'll post a sign. As I stated, I just want to be clear. Well, I'll be sure to take all that into consideration while I review the application. Don't be ridiculous. You're going to rent this shuttle to me. Yeah. Because I can bring something that your surveyor or any of the other fish you might have online can't. What's that? A certain respectability. On a boat like this? What are you running from? I'm not running from anything. If it's Alliance trouble you got, you might want to consider another ship. The Alliance has no quarrel with me. That's the last time you get to call me whore. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Never again. Can't. Four to a shuttle, Honora. Four. One more. You know it can't make a difference. Not now. I'm not leaving Serenity. Well, you don't have to die alone. But it dies alone. No, we get buried alone. It's a difference. On this button once, it'll call back both shuttles. <laughs> oh, this one's low key emotional. Wake up. There's someone. <laughs> Yeah, now it just went out. And you know what the funny thing is? I was going to say I'm going to go to sleep. 
instead of worry so much if I'm going to die, I'm just going to go to sleep just like he is. But we might get a call too to save us. I ain't asking for a ride, Captain. Just a little push is all. Right, your mechanical trouble, your compression coil, you say? It was a catalyzer. You can plainly see my shuttles have been launched, just like I said. But now you scan me. You know I got no life support. I don't expect to see any weapons when we board. And I do expect to see that engine part before I open the door. Yeah. So. <laughs> It's just him. I thought we were going to be reasonable about this. Reason? No, that's a joke. Which one you figure attract us? The ugly one, sir. <laughs> Jenny. <laughs> Could you be more specific? Do we look reasonable to you? <laughs> Jenny's not ugly. I wasn't saying that. I was saying because we know we know him. Our looks can be deceiving. Not as deceiving as a low-down, dirty deceiver. <laughs> well said. Let's say you did kill us, or didn't. It could be torture, whatever. But somehow, you found the goods. 7% straight off the top. That ain't low. Stop it. It is. 7% standard. Okay. Zoe, I'm paying you too much. No, forget I said anything. I'm sure you treated very well. You get the perks. We see what he's room. doing. We'll not only show you where the stuff's at. You have to We'll see to you. You get your fair share. <laughs> I know sad seven. He's interested. Private room? Jane! Jane's a backstabber. We remember when he last episode it came out that he pushed his friend or his partner out the um out the helicopter airplane. So yeah, Jane is definitely a backstabber, but he hasn't backstabbed stabbed us yet. So that's good. You check the engine room? It's like he said, Kyle is blown. Already decided. Oh, Jesse, call Stern over here. We'll get it as far as... Don't call Stern. So you later just came to shoot him. to lose blood too much. Call you back? No, Matt, you didn't. I take full responsibility, Cap. The decision saved your life. Hey, well, hey, you know, we'd have been back first if there's something wrong with Nara Jane. show. Jane. She's done something to it, Mal. I told you, that's incense. So you said. <laughs> what else would it be? Treat her proper. She'll be with you for the rest of your life. He doesn't want that one. You hear a word of been saying? He called his name. No. So yeah, this is the process of of making Serenity a home. Making it what it is. No, it didn't look like gold. It didn't look like gold at all. But we had to make it a home, you know? We had to make it our gold in our eyes. So this one, this one was nice. And it got emotional, you know? Just being there left alone and everybody had to ship out to save their lives. The fact that they came back for us. Well, yes, we loved it. Not only that, but he passed out. He couldn't even call them back. So, ran into someone, act like they was going to help. And I know that they was going to steal from us, but they could have shot him and killed him. Maybe one of them would have been shot. But, yeah, they could have definitely killed the captain. And they didn't. They didn't. And I'm glad they didn't. But, um, yeah, he, he had it back running. So, when they came back, it was already good to go. It was already good to go. So... So yeah, we enjoyed this one. So let's get into episode um, nine, War Stories. Are we gonna talk about it or ignore it? I don't want it. 
Whatever you have to eat. It's good. It tastes like... It tastes like shit. Good. <laughs> it smells like crotch. Not coochie. I guess crotch could be any crotch. Go to the park <laughs> or something. Come on. It's not that bad. I don't care if it's got sunsets 24 hours a day. I ain't setting foot on that planet. No one is setting foot on that fancy rock. I don't want anyone leaving the ship. I don't want anyone looking out the windows or talking a lot. Really? I'm gonna drop off an R, that's it. <laughs> Shouldn't be more than a day or two. Big stop. Not him licking his knife. Can I use companion as a verb? <clears throat> I'm trying to eat. Not do that while we're... Oh, my shot! Damn! What the hell? River, no! Why did she do that? River, that... That's not cool. Unless you know something we don't. I don't know. Shut no, it, I ain't talking to you. <gasps> You don't picture off this boat right now, I swear to you. What? What do you swear, Jane? Oh. Next time little sister gets in a murdering mood, might be you she comes calling on. This is my boat. They're part of my crew. No one's getting left. Best you get used to that. I thought it was a ship, not a boat. Take her to the kitchen, infirmary, whatever. You ask me first, understand? I do. Now she's a... When I took you and your sister in, the deal was you keep her in check. Yes. You can stop looking. There's a client. Me. What? I have a job for you. <laughs> Hydrazepam. 200. Cash. And all of these are just from the med kit I had with me when I came on board. At a hospital like the one in Ariel City, they'll have shelves of that stuff. If I can get River in there, I might be able to figure out what they did to her at the academy. Hmm. So we get you and your sister into the whatcha thing, and you tell us how to clean up the hospital. We might like this episode. Not to be negative, but... Don't the hospital need that medicine? You see, like all core hospitals, St. Lucie's has its own dedicated security force. A small battery of local alliance federals substationed here. How do you think we're gonna get that you in the Through the front door. Believe me, Captain, getting the two of us in is going to be easy. The rest of you, that is going to be the real trick. Now, obviously, we can't steal what we need. Any illegal activity the in the planning stages could end this thing before it starts. St. Lucie's Hospital contracts with the local municipal dumpyard for all its large disposals. Big hospitals mean big waste, so we shouldn't have any trouble finding what we're looking for. He's looking suspicious. All we have to do is slip a couple of bills into the right hands. That gets us uniforms, ID. Okay, connection. Little... We... Infuser. Infusers. We... Infusers. 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 What about cortical electrodes? Oh. I don't know. We forgot. <laughs> Let's try that again. Yeah. Despite our best efforts, uh, they... which methods did you use? We tried pulmonary stimulators and cardiac infusers. What about the cortical electrodes? Uh, response. Response. Hell, I don't know. If I wanted schooling, I'd have gone to school. <laughs> I'll get it. Together. And really? now, for the finishing touch. That is pretty awesome. They just put that together. Actually, for this to work, River and I will have to be dead. I'm starting to like this plan. Whoa. <laughs> when this is over, I'll be able to help you. I'll be able to make the nightmares go. Hmm. Okay. It's time to go to sleep. Jane? Yeah. He's still practicing. We gonna have a problem? I know what I gotta do. That's what I wanna talk about. Am I gonna have a problem with you and Simon? It's up to him. You let him do his thing and then you get him out. No messing with him for laughs. Don't worry about me. Because I get paid, I'm happy. Oh. But clinical electrodes, I'm able to get a neural response. All about the money. We applied the cortical electrodes, but we're unable to get a neural reaction from either patient. You said it the wrong time. We already threw, Jay. Hey, do this comedy. Why are you leaving?
Unless he's supposed to be with me. I thought he's supposed to stay with him. I'm in. Do you have the fugitives? You got my reward? Yes. What I said when they go back to the beginning, when we took that man on board and he tried to um, go against the captain and Jane agreed with him, but we never seen the results because the man died before Jane could even play his part in that scheme. Now look at him. This is why, because he screamed red flags. Just like we talked about. Congratulations. You're about to become a very rich man. And that's all that matters. And that's exactly what I said at the beginning too. If you're all about the money, it just matters the... It just matters the dollar signs. It just matters the zeros. At any moment, a person that cares just about money will turn their back on you. I don't care who they are, how close you are. And that's Jay. He all about his money. Copper for a king. Jesus. What did you say? Well, your sister <coughs> seems okay. <coughs> oh, she throwing up. I'm gonna get dressed. Our patients come to get better. They're going to die. No one is going to die. He is. <gasps> no, he's not. She knows. That man standing next to him is his doctor. He's going to help him. Blue! We gotta call him. Stay here. Don't move. This is not the plan. I mean, yeah, we should save somebody's life, but. We have 42 year old double bypass post op. Prognosis was positive. So, you went to school for how many years to be a doctor? <laughs> Justify administering a vasoconstrictor to this patient. A praseline is a painkiller, not a vasoconstrictor. Unless you combine it with dilaftin. Walk with me a minute. Where are we going? You see this badge? It says doctor. When your supervisor hears about the root and district. Well, bathroom. <laughs> Clear. Clear. Oh, that's the Clear. I mean, I know they experiment on her brain, but I think they kind of, you know, made her more open-minded, more smarter. I don't know, because she knows things people Live. don't. Here it is. Okay, that's enough. We being greedy. Let's go. Who is that? Oh, yeah. I'm about to say. That's pretty wicked. Well, the only reason to make a decision in someone's brain is to lobotomize them to go in and remove damaged tissue. Why anyone would cut into a healthy brain is... Was she not healthy? They did it over her. Oh. Your brain that keeps your feelings in check. In check? Disturbing. She feels everything. She can't not. <laughs> Plan changed when you were out. I'm meeting out the back way in five. Well, I, I could use another couple minutes. I, I'm sure if we get in touch with Captain Reynolds... Captain gave his orders. We play it by the book. It's over. We're leaving. <laughs> your toes are in the sand. And your head's up here. Hey! Back off. You just make sure she keeps her mouth shut. You don't need her screeching over. Yeah, this is not the way, is it? No, no, I can't go back. I don't want to go back. Shh, 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 shh. It's okay. It's okay. We're just going back to the ship. We're almost home. Shh. Mm. Take them to processing. They locked up now. Where's my rotten money? You mean my money? For apprehending the three fugitives? I expect I'll be getting it soon. Hmm. Oh, what gun is that? Keep us flying. Can we fly somewhere with a beat? Maybe a naked <laughs> Maybe a naked beat? Oh. Cut it out. Just not done until we're back on Serenity. What the hell now? Came downstairs for the shiny presents. They took the tree and the stockings. Nothing left but coal. Would you shut up? I think she needs to talk. <laughs> Don't look in the closet either. It's greedy. Kaylee, are you linked? Uh, I am. Now, what do you need? I know if there's any kind of security alert in the hospital. Hang on. I have a flag. Red's got him. 
Have her bring up a hospital schematic on the cortex. Find me a way into that security really? substation. Wait a minute. You don't even know for sure if they're in there. Just gotta find out. Check. Come in, Claire. I'm also quite certain your superior wants me and my sister alive. Yep. Now, I'm not going to move from this spot until one of two things happens. You answer my very simple question. Take them. Things always get a little more complicated, don't they, sir? Just once, I'd like things to go according to the Goran plan. You might want to hurry. Oh, is there a problem? He did. What are you doing? Going out the way we came in. There are at least four armed feds out there. Six, I know. We run. You got no idea where they're going. The paperwork together for you. Bobby, bring that here. Not that it'll mean much. The men were tight-lipped. The girl was just spewing gibberish. We got it all down. Did your men also speak with them? Much as they had to. They gonna kill you. We shouldn't have helped him. Ew, that's sick. Ugh. Here they come, you better blast them. Yeah, back up. That's too much yelling and screaming. Come on, Jane. <laughs> We're going back. Yeah, I keep running. They ain't even using a gun. What are you using like a, I don't know what it is. Doesn't work. Shooting hell high tech alliance crap. Oh, they closed. Just missed us. That was a close one. Oh, she's back in time too. Okay. Tell me we weren't followed. Nothing in our rear view the whole way back. All right. Take us out of the world quick as you can. We'll be out of Atmo in five minutes. Then we come to the core home stand with the preacher. Oh, you hadn't come, you wouldn't be getting your big payday. So, you get what you needed? I can't even begin to tell you. We wouldn't be standing here if it weren't for him. Like, yeah, no. Thank you. All right, Jane, help me with the car. Ooh. Number one, make yourselves useful. You got jobs, go do them. <laughs> this gotta be our best take ever. Well, Doc had a good notion. Boy's got a decent criminal mind. Oh, he knows how, though. Job's done. Figured it was time for a little chat. <gasps> he leaving. You called the feds. What? I got pinched! Which is what happens when you call the feds. No! I would never do that, my hand to God! You know, I hear tell they used to keel haul traders back in the day. I don't have a keel to haul you on, so. You are flying. Sorry for what, Shane? Money was too good. Ran you out to the fed. Oh, but you did. You did it to me, Jane. And that's a fact. I hadn't thought about it. Make something up. Don't tell him what I did. Why? Oh, is he really dying, y'all? Oh, and he doesn't. Next time you decide to stab me in the back. How the guts to do it to my face. What are you doing? Drawing. That's really good. Mm -hmm. It's time to try to help you. It's time to wake up. Mm -hmm. No, because I'm a cry. Of course, it doesn't even give you time to cry. <laughs> Hey, overall, this one was a good-ass episode. We ain't said that in a little minute. But episode... Episode 9, War Stories? Why is it called War Stories? 
But yeah, it was so nice. Was it details we couldn't miss out on? And like I said, Jane was iffy from the jump. Not only with the not only with the first episode, but like on was it was it J Jane's town? Yeah, when he when we found out he had that man in prison, and when he when they robbed all that money, he threw him out, threw him out the um the helicopter, the airplane. So you guys cannot forget about that either. This is like his third time betraying somebody, turn their back on him, and yeah, I really thought Captain was gonna and him but again that comes back to our relationship how long we knew each other captain's more caring than what we thought more emotions you know more emotions because yeah we all could have gotten in trouble we all could have been in jail we all could have been dead so yeah this one was it was more active it was more energy more active let me know how you guys feel about episode nine down in the comments let's talk about it um full link that should be down in the description as we enjoy this we have one two three four five five more episodes and then we are on to the movie I'm ready for it. I'm ready for the movie. See how this ends too, because I really want to see how this ends. Um, but of course, you guys put your opinions down below. And thank you guys for exploring with me. Let's go.